So, question, comments concerning the last issue? We don't have, even if they are fair, because we have a lot of versus stuff. Uh, Frida, I guess, I guess you have to eat more <laughs> later and now give us a demonstration on the, on the excess. Can you do that? Yeah, give me 30 seconds. 30 seconds is okay. Ah, so, yeah, now you have more than 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I personally don't do this since years, and I'm not, um, in this respect, I'm not a very good documenter. But there are, there are very different styles. There are uh, consultants who document a lot and even bring it on uh, internet websites where there's a communication system between all people and there are others that do it different. I don't have a specific answer to that. Certainly, uh, the bigger uh, the companies on the other side, the more people involved, and the bigger the consultancy system is, and, ro uh, and uh, tasks are given from one person to another, and many roles play together, the more you need some kind of uh, um, documentation that is valid, and each... Uh, uh, <coughs> and these styles are so different. There's also a culture of documentation, for example, I had a, a teacher at my institute, whenever he wanted to uh, tell me what happened in the group when I took it over, he just made bullet points. And I said, I don't understand anything. Can you give me whole sentences? I said, uh, he said, yeah, bullet points are enough. When you give me a report, you write a poem and, and an essay and I forget everything besides the bullet points I choose. So we have so different styles in order to understand what happened in the group. And this is certainly true for uh, more elaborate documentation systems too. But uh, it's often neglected uh, to have a, a solid enough documentation that is slim enough to be uh, taken in during action and uh, in, um, elaborated enough to give you really an, an information. Um, some, what, one of my concepts, which I did not report here, is about logics of reality. And I sometimes make a difference between stability of reality um, and, and uh, continuity of reality. And this is important to make a difference with. Uh, con uh, continuance of reality means that just what you have um, uh, achieved so far will not be forgotten. Because many things culturally get lost just because they uh, uh, are not kept in memory of the system. So many see uh, top level teams just do not know what they discussed last time. And so that's not a question of competition between realities, it's a question just of documentation and adequately keeping, uh, sticking to reality and writing it further. Uh, this is different with stability of reality. Uh, stability of reality means how stable is a reality when it's confronted with a different reality. 
and concerning to different issues, realities should be different stable, should not be too fluent and not be too hard. And what is adequate only can be decided from case to case. You are ready? to show you where you find all the materials concerning the workshops in Oxford in the lecture materials. Um, to be honest, there are two websites at the moment. One is the website I show you at first, which is under construction at the moment. So I show you where you get it there. And, you show, and I show you where you find it on the classical ISP website. So you can just adjust it, uh, so you can download it now, and you will find it on the other website also. See. Is that a good way for you? Yes. Okay. So, the first website, you can see it here, is isb-i.eu. That is our international website, where, you also, um, where we also provide some information about our institute, and where we provide information about the international network of organizational coaching and development. And there you find also more information about the mission, about the meeting, and all the stuff. So here you will find collected everything that will be available for the meeting next year. <coughs> On that website you have events, and here is under this, it's under construction, so it will be there very soon. Here you will find also then all your information about this certain event, about the other events we did in an international context like Oxford and the other stuffs. And you see here some pictures and it will be that style like like for an of medium you get some basic information and you get the videos. As Bernd referred to, we have a system we call it Click to Transfer, where we provide also all the PowerPoints, the PDFs, and the videos. We have at the moment to switch to the German website. The German website is isb-w.eu. So it's. Yeah. That is the. That's the name of the website, and if you open it, then there will be written systemic professional, systemic professionality. On the website, we also have a part that is international, and at or under that point, you will find some more information about an international portray speeches and workshops, articles, corporations, and again, INOC. And in here, speeches and workshops. Here you will find um, information about different events. And what I refer to most of the time are uh, the Oxford Learning Conversations. There you see the surroundings. Maybe Giesen will remember it, the house there. This picture is just of the first week because we did this workshop twice. So you are not on that picture, but <laughs> it's on the other one. And if you now go here, like um, we got something about the theater metaphor today, then we have a system that allows you to directly um, access the information to this certain model or to this certain picture of it. So if I go here to personality, then I am at the point about personality which is referred to on YouTube. So, and then you, s you see the picture of the PowerPoint, and you get it explained again in the words Bird is using. And as soon as you access YouTube, you also see here the other videos related to Oxford. But you have the same way to. Um, you have the same chance to access them if you go to international Oxford lectures and then you have, for example, narrative TA or something more. 
Now I come to one thing special, which is hopefully something that will um, make it more accessible to you. We put it all of this also in a PDF. And the special thing about a PDF now is, if you scroll the PDF to the slide you are interested in, let's say definition of intuition, and then you hit on the YouTube button. So every slide which is available on YouTube with an explanation is also there, then you get exactly to the point where this slide is explained. So to, to recap this, if you go to the website, if you download the PDF, and you store a PDF somewhere locally, and you have internet access, you just have to open the PDF, you can come onto the PDF, and then you get the explanation to the point. So that is something I guess it's very helpful for you because you don't have to switch to YouTube to see, to search for it, you can accept it directly. So what you also experience maybe is that this is the old style of PowerPoint slides. So today they look a little bit different. And if we go to INOC, um, and the documents you will see, just a little, um, if you have a look at them, you see they are in a new style. This offers three advantages to you. On the one hand, they are now in 16 to 9, so they are better accessible on a computer. More important, all of them are now with this thing we call click to transfer. That means, I hope the internet connection is fast. That means you don't get just a PDF, the PDF version of the link is also available that you get a PDF that is prepared for your usage. So that means we put it in the master slides, the Creative Commons license, so you're safe to use it. But you can adapt it to your PowerPoint style very quickly. I hope to download is fast. Um, let's download. Download the folder. Just click on the arrow. Just click on the arrow. Download. Ah, yeah. Thank you. I'm not very good organized if I have a different screen. Yep, we go. Take this. So, let me back down and then. Um, that should be there. PowerPoint. So, there is this PowerPoint. And if I use that PowerPoint and just drop it into your corporate layout, there will be just remaining the content and the Creative Commons license. But if you have like some headings or some logos or corporate designs, they will automatically fit in your, auto, in your, in your design. You just have to adapt it if you use four to three or something like that. And maybe you have to adapt the uh, um, the script because we use different types or a certain type for this. I can show you this also if you want, but I would do it uh, personally to the people who are interested in it, maybe in the next break, because doing it with this kind of projector it's kind of confusing to me. So <laughs> I will lose track. Some questions to these two websites and how to access them. Cool. Thank you, and that we have such an elaborate system uh, is due to Frida, who is since years here. And this is only to, to motivate you, basically. If you don't, you'll find, find your way through. You can Skype with Frida, and he will guide you specifically. And this is mostly on the content level, but we are also working on making our didactic available. So all the kind of exercises we use, city science for our learning culture, how we build it up, we are just in the process of writing a new book on that. So it, it, we do not yet have that in English, but if we have a, 
a challenge to use it somehow in English and it's an inspiration to translate it.